Yo, 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 this is JD Zero bringing you a top favorite starter. And this is our first ever video on doing a top five. This is my first ever doing a top five video. So um, let's go ahead and let's get into number five. When Greninja will be the top five. When Greninja was introduced in X and Y, I really think this Pokemon was just like, wow. A frog ninja. Frog ninja. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Froggy frog ninja. I like the design. I was really hoping it would have been like a water dog type or something like that. Whatever the case might be in. I thought it was, but it wasn't. Um, but so far, it's not a bad Pokemon. I mean, it made it into the whole... Yeah, so like I was saying, it made it to the Uber tier, and it was just, it's its pretty awesome how something like this made it into the Uber tiers. Um, and now, I don't know if we're going to actually get, like, they said, like, any many other YouTubers, like, are we going to get, like, an Ash Greninja farm or anything like that. Um, but, yeah. I really really enjoyed this Pokemon it was it was pretty awesome so let's go ahead and get to the next top four Torterra Torterra you know of all of Blastoise out of the whole fact of um what was it Turkle Turtwig Turtwig Torterra. Torterra was Torterra was like the next point where okay, we gone through a water type turtle, we gone through a fire turtle. Now let's do a like grass ground turtle. And that that right there, I was like, wow. 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 Um but it was my favorite starter my favorite of favorite starters and the um and the fourth generation it was my first starter i started off with i think it was way much better than bubblezar and venusaur or well, more likely better than venusaur um but since it's in my top four i i think it was like the much better i think it was like one of my most favorite ones out of the three um out of the first generation turtle and then the third generation turtle having this fourth generation turtle outdid more than those two generations and i'm hoping to get like another set of are they gonna do like another turtle because i know fifth generation has their turtle and it's it's kind of lacking I feel like if we do get another turtle, I hope it be way much better. Um, but yeah, this is this is our top four Torterra, and now we're gonna go ahead and go into number three. So on number three, we have Skeptile. Skeptile, you know, the thing about Skeptile. What I really enjoy about Skeptile, knowing the fact in the third generation, it was my first starter in the third generation. And when I got in this Pokemon, when I first got Trico, I, I fell in love with it when Ash got it in the anime series and he was wearing the little, um, the little stick in his mouth, the little twig in his mouth. And it was, it was like, he, he thinks he's all badass. And that was that was the cool thing about Trico. And then when it finally got to the point of its stages and it finally became a skeptile and he still pits on the actual twig, I was like, okay, this Pokemon is literally considered one of the most badass cool Pokemon of all time. Now stat wise from a challenging 
like from a competitive stat wise, I think it's great. From the move sets during the gener the third generation game, I think it should have had a little bit more of a more wide variety of move sets. But that didn't get that didn't get into later in the later generations. It started getting much better move sets and and make you know and made Skeptile a little bit much better. And now it got some mega evolution. So it's cool how they literally upgraded him to the point where now he's Grass Dragon type, but more four times weakness to you know ice and everything. And it's the same way with you know Turtwig. It's four times weakness to ice, but other than that, it's the best Pokemon. It was very cool. I love it. Um, so now let's go ahead and get into part two. Not part two. I mean part top 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 two. Our top two down the list is the one and only Typhlosion, and the second generation is the first silver and gold of second generation because I the first game I had was silver, and then I got gold later on, and then crystal. But all the stars was um, Typhlosion, and I I love Typhlosion. Typhlosion was my favorite Pokemon of the time, um, and Ash got a Cyndaquil on the second generation, and I was like, ah, oh, what can we see from this Pokemon? And then it evolves into Coliva, and the I think it was either between the third generation or no fourth generation. Somewhere in the fourth generation, it finally got to the point of evolving, but. It didn't get to the point of Typhlosion yet. But I watched Pokemon Chronicles and I saw how one of the people from there on the anime series, I forgot what the trainer's name was in the Pokemon Chronicles series, but when he had Typhlosion and he showed the fact that even though he's a fire type, he cannot be beaten by no water type. And that was cool. Because it's saying like, okay, you know, Typhlosion has pretty awesome defenses and stuff like that. And I was like, that's cool. I love Typhlosion. It makes me love Typhlosion even more. So now, I also have a Typhlosion in one of my teams from, you know, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And he does good. He does good. I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, But other than that, best Pokemon, best Pokemon. And we're going to go ahead and get into number one. The one and the only, you already know, my mascot, the leader of the freaking squad, Squirtle, 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 Squirtle. Um, the one who has the shades, you know, I love Squirtle. Squirtle, he's in my top one just because he really rock out the Squirtle shades. When the anime series lifted, you know, took off and Ash finally got to meet up with Squirtle and the Squirtle Space Squad, it was just amazing. Freaking amazing. Like this dude literally has his own squad and he's cool about it. He's really cool. He's a prankster, I get it. You know, he likes to joke around also. But when I met, when I saw this Pokemon in the anime series, I was like, I, I have to have you. I literally have to have you. I, I basically, and like, I think like red and blue, no, not red and blue, but when Fire Red and Leaf Green came out, I got my Squirtle. I literally looked for the black glasses. I grabbed the black glasses and I put it on the, on the Squirtle. I know you can see it on the Squirtle, but it was just like, I know it's there. He out, he's rocking the shades. You know, he's rocking, he's rocking the black glasses. That was awesome. That was pretty freaking awesome. Um, and if I feel like if anything out of this whole situation, if they do do this and make Squirtle an alternate form, or where they might be able to cosplay a Squirtle or whatever they, if they do it, they do it. I I rather they pitch shades. I rather have an shades shades on Squirtle, or at least do a a, a event saying Ash's Squirtle, but at least Ash Squirtle has freaking shades on. 
That would have been the most awesome freaking Squirtle of all time. I would love to have a Squirtle on my team with shades on. Actually, they better yet should carry it through the whole, the whole level evolution of Squirtle. So where he goes into the point of being Blastoise, he still keeps the actual shades on. Now, you guys are going to tell me like, well, why, why, um, Squirtle... Squirtle is your top one, and well, and not Torterra or Turtwig. Well, the reason why I feel like of all out of the whole tur turtles period, Squirtle will be the number one because of the fact that it is my mascot and the fact that I I respect the Squirtle, sh you know, the Squirtle Scott. Excuse me, sorry. Um, but yeah. I respect that. I really respect that. And I like this Pokemon. I really do. It's my mascot. It's I wouldn't I wouldn't not have it as my number one starter of my top favorite Pokemon. It's it's there. It's literally there. It's my favorite top one. And he can mega evolution into Blastoise, Mega Blastoise, and also still be able to keep the actual mega evolution with the, the the shades on that would have been pretty awesome i think you guys would would love to see that to happen um but yeah like i said squirtle squirtle my man squirtle 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 um he's basically just he's he's just that one main turtle if if I was having a Pokemon in real life, that would be my main turtle. My main rocking turtle on my side right now with shades. Cause we're all the squirtle shaders and he he's he's perfect. Um but yeah this, yeah guys, um this has basically been my top favorite squirtles my top five <laughs> favorite starters. Um yeah, um See you guys in the next video. Um, remember, remember to comment, share, and comment, share, scalp, bash that like button, picture, squirrel shades on, and stay awesome, guys. Bye.